got a special guest in the house, man. Andrew, welcome and thank you for your situation. Come back and talk about becoming a lawyer, which yeah. is... Yeah, we uh, definitely. Um, so, because they're, you know, it's a money Monday, so I'm like, you know, yeah. let's add, give the guys some value because some people might want to become a lawyer. What, what would be your advice sure. to anyone in here that wants to become a lawyer, go down this path? Should they do it? Should they not do it? Should they look at a th certain um, discipline to get into? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll number, just turn it to you. Number one. Make sure you actually want to fucking do it. Because being a lawyer mm -hmm. is not like an episode of Suits. It's not CSI. <laughs> it's not Franklin and Bash. It's not. It's definitely not Legally Blonde, <laughs> right? That's complete bullshit. <laughs> well, most lawyers now are women. Though most of the people graduating are women out of law yeah. school. So, uh, you know, they think it's going to be one thing. But the thing is, they are sorely disappointed because the actual practice of law, you know, for example, people will think it's court. 99.9% .9 of, law of lawyers do not go to court. Even yeah, litigators, yeah. they settle. They they do motion practice. They're not in there doing trials all the time. It's not, you know, some are, but it's a very small portion of lawyers. Wow. I did corporate and real estate. So we're saying only 1% are actually going into courtrooms and arguing? Very rare, very small sliver. You've got people- Courtroom experience. You've got people doing research. You've got people doing writing. You've got people wow. negotiating. You've got people doing property. Uh, me, working with, you know, Fortune 500 companies, working with people who are trying to get stuff done. Done. And, and I, if I go to court, you know, I fucked up. I've actually fucked up. So because I'm not representing my client correctly, because the point is to keep them out of court. So uh, I'm worried. What if I need a lawyer, and let's say goes to court, but they never actually been in court? That's I would never get a lawyer that has not gone to court for the specific thing you want to go for. Yeah. So let's say you're on a criminal charge. Let's say you're on a pot charge, mm -hmm. right? Which I don't know. Are those even exist anymore? <laughs> you know, whatever. But let's pretend you're there on a pot charge, <laughs> right? Yeah. Feds, yeah. And, and nobody has ever. And this guy, this lawyer, he's done dog bites. I'm not hiring that guy. Right. I'm hiring the dog bite guy. And we all have specialties. You know, no lawyer is a jack of all trades. Yeah. But mm -hmm. what I learned is to be humble enough to say this guy's the expert. I'm going to rely on this guy. And we have lawyers on YouTube. They've specialized. I've got a good friend who I brought into the law tube game in um, Korea. He specializes in maritime law. Mm. Oh, Bro, it's crazy. Wow. So we got we got immigration law people. We got this yeah. and that. So you got to focus on people who know it and pick those people. So starting out, do you want to do it? How do you know that? Go find an actual lawyer who is something you want to be and look at what they're doing. Sit through their office. Say, hey, can I sit in? Can I just watch you for a day? See what you do? Because you may watch what a lawyer does and realize they're at their computer. They're on the phone. They're writing. They're doing research. I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. You know, I want to go out there and I want to be talking to people. I want to be interacting. I want to be negotiating. There's probably better jobs for you. If you yeah. want to be super extroverted, maybe you're better at doing marketing. Maybe you're better at doing sales. Maybe you're better at supporting lawyers, mm. right? Maybe you're better at you like AI bro AI is gonna change the, the game. field of lawyering it's gonna make it so they can do research and writing so much quicker maybe that's what you want to do maybe you're the legal AI guy so check out the make sure you want to do it and how you do that is you begin with the end in mind so whatever position you want to get in let's say you want to do international arbitration okay. right you go find that guy, go find the good lawyer that, that does that position and look at him and see how he became successful. Niche is, niche is very important. So assuming your niche is a regular niche and it's not something like tax or something weird you need an extra certificate in, mm. it's about seven years. Now I'm the dumb- Seven years? That's a minimum. That's a minimum. My the, dumb the, ass was in here for nine years. This is undergrad, so. undergrad and law school combined, right? Combined. In okay. the United States, we're talking about Americans now. For those out there that are international, hola como estas, you know, okay. uh, we've got uh, a lot of countries which allow you to do law school after four years because it's essentially an undergrad degree. That's a lot of other countries that are not America, but we're talking about America here, damn it. Due yeah. process, the Constitution, <laughs> we fucking love it. Yeah. So... In America, it is four years of undergrad and three years of law school. Does it matter what you do in undergrad? No, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking yeah, it doesn't matter. matter no. It doesn't fucking matter. It never all does. All that matters is the LSAT. That's what matters to get into school. Now, are there certain majors that challenge you, that push you so you do better? Stuff like uh, math, you know, STEM stuff. Yeah, you'll do great. You'll do great as a lawyer. Also, if you do STEM, you'll have the ability to sign up for the patent bar. So the patent bars, people do patents. Specifically uh -huh. patents okay. And you can't do that unless you're in a hard science or some sort of science. So eh, that's a good suggestion if you're interested in patents and stuff like that. Okay. So you might want to consider that. But other than that, the biggest thing is study for that LSAT, which is my second piece of information. Okay. Take that fucking LSAT as many times as you need to get a good score to get in the school that you've chosen. Uh -huh. So you, so I took it twice. Once I was drunk and just YOLOing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh -huh. I'm not 
like, I got this shit, lawyering ain't no big deal. Yeah. yeah. I took it and I, I did I did dog shit right yeah. I did dog shit mm. then I went and studied and I did fantastic it's mostly I got his, logical reasoning right if I'm not mistaken the, uh, the LSAT yeah it's logical reasoning logic logic games you know but a lot of it is uh, is able, it's learnable so you can take time to study it and you can learn it you can actually learn it okay. and you'll do you'll do noticeably better if you study okay um, so you take that you get a better score and then you look at the school now as for the school what do you got to look at alumni network. Mm. Uh, yeah. and the people yeah so once again begin with the end in mind so you're looking at that person you want to be you're like this is my this is my senpai this is the guy I want to be this is the person I'm trying to be what school did he go to because okay. uh. guess what when you come up what's the easiest thing to say oh I'm an alumni of this school oh, yeah. I went there too that's yeah. the easiest and the easiest way to start a conversation and also those people will want to be loyal to the school they'll yeah. say hey I want to be loyal to that school so if for law school it does matter if you're out here going to University of North Dakota and you're trying to roll into Miami nobody's gonna nobody's gonna like that right mm. I went to University of Florida I'm a gator so you know Florida is is uh, yeah there you go I got the chop right you know yeah. uh, I see you over there Mo uh, but I'm good in Florida, right? But if I go out to New York, they're going to be like, uh, you yeah. know, maybe not LA, uh, maybe not, right? Of course, why the fuck would I go to New York and LA? All those people <laughs> are coming here to Miami, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. uh, it's, and by the way, it's real. there's a lot of those guys here now. It's really changed over the last two, bad, three dude. years. It's gotten crazy, bro. It's um, bad. It was good when we were here at the beginning, you know? I remember that. We, it was we good. We were here at the f forefront of Miami yeah, before it was crazy. Before. No, so my old apartment in Brickell went up seventy five percent. Bro, we were at there. Fortune House. Yeah, Fortune what are they charging now? Uh, like three. I was at two. I was at like two point two. It's like three point eight. Wow. Yeah. So it is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, my house went up a lot. You know, and we, I was like telling them, I live in Bangkok now. Uh, I spent a lot of time in in uh, Korea, in Japan, in uh, Philippines. But I mean, I was like, I've got two apartments for less than half. Yeah, that, yeah, you know? yeah. It's like that's no problem, bro. Smart yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. I realized it's seven years now. I gotta wait basically for this to finish. How do I get a job at the seven year mark? Okay, so at a job, here's the thing. Well, that comes back to <laughs> the LSAT and uh, getting into the law, school, law first, school, right? And also making the connections while you're in law school and even before law school. Mm -hmm. Because if you're able to make connections, let's let's face it, guys, connections are what's up. That's why you guys have a community. Mm -hmm. You guys have a community because making those connections is power, right? Making those connections is important. If you can say, hey, I know, I, I know Myron, you know, I know this lawyer, and you make that introduction, that's important, right? You're able to actually get in on the ground floor. So if you're able to make those connections during law school, do that. Internship, and that's why uh, the law school you go to. That I've heard, and I want you to that's correct me if matters. I'm right, right here, wrong here. Um, I've been told where you go to law school matters than how you do in law school. That's 100 percent true. It's okay, 100 percent. Yeah, um, because at the end of the day, there's a reason why. Because people say, "Oh, I went to Harvard, I went to Yale, I went to Princeton, I went to these Ivy League, Cornell, right? What seven Ivy League schools? UPenn, etc." It's not that the schools are necessarily better. It's that. They have a huge network of people Correct. that will get you a job. That's why the Ivy League schools are so coveted. It's not Correct. that you're actually well. Yes, they're hard to get into, but they're hard to get into because once you get in and you get a degree from one of these places, right. you're guaranteed a job. Exactly. And if you're able to to get a job in that area, especially so, let's say I want to come to Miami. Well, you better be working in Miami your first summer, your second summer, and getting those connections, especially in the type of job you want to do. Now, look, you might be able to eliminate uh, what you don't want to do in the first year. I went in and I. Uh, Nice signs, you're right. I did a little civil and criminal work my first summer, and I was like, fuck this. I went in that Miami Dade courthouse, <laughs> and I did oh, some yeah, Chinese yeah. drywall cases, and I'm Nightmare. like, this is ass. I'm yeah. like, I want to be doing negotiations. I want to be doing deals. I want to be making things happen. So I came in, and I ended up with one of the best firms in uh, Orlando for commercial real estate development. I represent a universal. They're going to open a new theme park, Epic Universe. That was all me, baby. Uh, that was my work. I couldn't talk about it for a while. NDA. Uh -huh. Disclosure. Uh, uh, not, it was it was a really good opportunity, um, and knowing that's what I wanted to do, I found out that through law school, and there yeah. was a little bit of process of elimination. But it was the happiest thing for me, the best thing for me, and you know I still uh, to this day uh, have good connections because I'm doing what I love and I'm doing what is a natural fit for me. That's smart. So he even before you finished law school, he made connections or networking basically yeah. in his yeah. actual school. So yeah. let me ask you this, Andrew. Sure. So. If your LSATs aren't up to par to get into the school, 
that you want to get into. I'm not sure. Should people even bother going to law school? No. And okay. that's what that's right. what that's what the that's what the woke mom's not going to tell you. That's what your yeah, mom's not going to tell give you. It to raw, yeah. This is the this is the raw fact for me. If you can't get, it's like being a brokey, right? As you guys say, right? <laughs> it's like if you're an LSAT brokey, don't fucking go to law school, okay? If you are, if you if you have a trash score, don't be like, oh, it's all right enough for this shit law school. No, it's all right. No. No, it's not. You're gonna end up in a shit ton of debt, two hundred thousand dollars in debt in the hole, and then you're trying to work after seven years. And then you're trying to trying to work out of that. And that, uh, sorry, that's just law school because law oh, school that's the average undergrad. is a hundred, two hundred thousand, not including undergrad. Pretending okay. your undergrad is paid, right? Okay. Maybe you're a nice D one athlete yeah, like yeah. like you over here, you know, yeah. uh, whatever, right? Even if you're just looking at that, the numbers don't work out. And remember, uh, here's the other thing too. This is very important. Don't trust the fucking numbers of law schools get telling you on how much people make. They lie on that shit. They manipulate the, the statistics. Uh, and also, a lot of the law schools will pay people when they graduate temporarily so they pad their uh, uh, salary numbers. So they'll put them on what's called a research uh, internship for nine months so that when they do a study of how much their alumni are making right after they graduate, they can pad their numbers on that. Then they oh, let them go. shit. <laughs> They're gaming this shit bad so do not pay attention when they say average salary is ninety thousand dollars it's probably something like 60 it's probably something like 40 you know what's interesting someone told me this um years ago and i was like no fucking way and you're only the second person to tell me like you know if you want to make money you can make money without even going to without even going to college you can, right yeah. you if can. you're not ready to prepare to think about that end and think about your end game and what you're going to be making and look at their salary because you know what you may look at it and be like i don't want to be a public defender making fucking 40k a year i can yeah. do that flipping burgers at mcdonald's without a law degree yeah right come on yeah come um, on serving your master at the government for 10 years right well, longer than the military yeah. right and you get your stuff forgiven uh, honestly fuck that why be in the hole for that long you've now you now sacrifice 10 years plus seven right 17 years of your life if you were just making you do get money, some good experience though right like would yes. you be able to probably get on a firm with with that all that uh, all as a public defender yeah with all that experience litigating? maybe no? maybe not no maybe maybe not Damn, okay a lot of folks i know i'm gonna go back up uh, to orlando and, and, and hang out with my friends they're still they're still working making less than 60 70. damn and, and it's what? years later it's so years lawyer? Later. yeah I, I mean that's 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 lol what? money like my super chats on a tuesday you know yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, a yeah, joke yeah. you know it, it's it's sad it's really sad and, and honestly you know they're grinding they're doing 80 hour days this is why i say make sure make sure you actually want to do it Look at the hours, look at the pay. It's not the sexy thing always that you think it is. A lot of lawyers are making less yeah, than a mechanic, right. than an electrician, than a developer, than a cybersecurity oh, person, wow. right? right? So make sure you actually want to do it. Look at the money. Public defenders are the, are the worst. And here's the thing, here's the oh, other thing man. too, guys. I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of people want to flex because they're lawyers. They want to pretend, oh, we're high and mighty because of money. So you got to live a lifestyle. You got to have these suits. These suits ain't cheap, baby. Ni nice car. These suits ain't cheap. You got to have a nice car. If you don't drive a nice car, your clients are going to be like, what is this guy? I don't trust him. He doesn't have a nice car. Yeah. Right? If you don't look nice, if you're not living the lifestyle, if they don't see you out, right, out at the, all the right places, your lifestyle is high. I'm a minimalist. I hate having to do that sort of stuff. But, you know, it, it's, it's part of the expectation if you work in a law firm in America. So.